So this question um, is involving ratios, so we're going to have to think about what technique we're going to use for this because lots of different things can happen with ratios. And it's given us some information, it's about a crumble topping and she uses 500 grams of apples for every 300 grams of topping. So she's got a kilogram of apples, she's going to use all her apples. So as it's 500 grams for every 300 grams of topping, we've got a kilogram, then we're going to need twice this amount. So we're going to need two lots of the 300 gram topping. Now they're telling us, so that means we need 600 grams of topping. But they're telling us that they're making this um, topping in this ratio. So sugar to butter to flour is in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. So if we add those up, that gives us 6. So for every 6 grams of topping we're going to need 3 grams of flour, 2 grams of butter and 1 gram. So if we see how many 6 grams go into the 600 then we can work out what our multiplying factor is. To think. So 600 divided by 6 is 100. So we're literally going to have to multiply each of our original ratio by 100 to find out how much of each of the components, the ingredients we need. So we need 300 grams of flour, 200 grams of butter and 100 grams of sugar. Add those up to check it works. 300 plus 200 is 500 plus 100 is 600. So we have got our 600 grams of topping where we're going to need 100 grams of sugar, 200 grams of butter and 300 grams of flour. So best to write out the words with the ratio underneath. Look for the multiplying factor and you can then work out how much of each of the ingredients you need.